In this tutorial, we will learn how to get started with Visualizer by building a sample app and then previewing it on the device. Before we get started, let's download the Visualizer Preview app from the App Store. We can preview the applications built on Visualizer natively on the device using this preview app. Let's use our Visualizer credentials to sign in. If you don't have one, you can get them by signing up for an account on Kony.com. Visualizer allows us to have a single design and code base to create native and web applications for phone, tablet, and desktop. Let's create a new project and name it Kony Application. All the project resources related to this application are stored in the workspace directory in the file system. We follow an adaptive design approach where users can create distinct layouts for different channels. If you notice, there are separate channels for mobile, tablet, desktop, and watch. This allows us to customize the layout for different channels taking into the account their differing real estate and form factors. Let's begin by creating a flex form. A form represents a screen of a mobile device. Notice that I now have a form created on the canvas. I can zoom in and out of the form using the command mouse scroll to see as much or as little detail as we want. We can also switch the view between different devices and platforms right from the canvas. Notice how this form appears on the iPhone 6 and iPhone 5. By default, screens have native widgets such as this navigation bar, which we call the title bar, and the tab bar, which we call the app menu, which are shown by default. Select the form and notice in the property sheet in the form tab, we can see all the different configurations. From here, we can access the native platform specific properties to turn off those native widgets. This fork icon means that we can control any property on a device by device basis. So for example, we can turn this particular property off for Android and have it on for iOS. This enables you to create distinct designs and layouts for each different form factor. Over here in the library are all the widgets, which we'll use throughout our app. We can drag them onto the form and configure them to start building our application. You can position the widget initially using the mouse on the canvas with these alignment guides, but more often you'll use the look panel on the right to adjust the specific location and size. We can use DP or device independent pixels percentage or absolute pixels to position our widget. We'll cover all of these different properties in a later tutorial. Let's say the requirement for this button is to have a fixed size and be present at a fixed distance from the bottom of the screen. To do that, I'll set the width to 300 dp, the bottom to 100 dp, and I'll clear out the top value so that the bottom value is respected. I've also set the center x value to 50% so that the center of the button is always centered in the middle of the screen. Notice that as I switch between different platform, the button is always at the same distance from the bottom of the screen and it's centered horizontally. Let's say we want this button to have a different background color and a rounded corner. We can change the styling of this button by going to the skin tab. Let's set the background to a different color and the border property to complete rounded corner. Changes reflect on the canvas in real time. Actions help us bring in interactivity to the application. We can associate action sequences to events to build dynamic applications. Let's create another form and associate a navigation to form action on the on-click event of the button. If we need to share and collaborate with other users, we can publish this app preview to the cloud. Upon successful publish, we get a preview code, which can be shared with users for them to download and view the app. Go to the Visualizer app preview on the iPhone. Enter the app share code and press search. Now we're able to see the app on the device along with the skin properties and the navigation. This should help you get started with using Visualizer. We'll dive into the features in more detail in tutorials to follow. To submit questions, go to developer.coney.com or to learn more about Visualizer, go to coney.com products visualizer.